Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we shall study about formula. If we say speed of a car is S, and time taken by a car to travel a certain distance d in time t seconds then we have s is equal to d upon t as the formula for speed The statement S is equal to D by T is a formula which expresses briefly what it might take a paragraph to explain. We can say formula is a rule for calculation in the form of an equation using variables and symbols. For example, A is equal to L into B, where L is the length of the rectangle B is the breadth of the rectangle and A is the area of the rectangle. Similarly, V is equal to L into B into H where L is the length of the cuboid B is the breadth of the cuboid and H is the height of the cuboid and V is the volume of the cuboid. Now let us discuss how framing of a formula is done from a given statement. By the use of variables and symbols the translation of words into an equation is called framing of a formula for example 1 a number y is 7 more than a number x this can be written as y is equal to 7 plus x second the product of two numbers A and B is 
see that is a into b is equal to c. Third is two times a number p increased by five. is 12 that is 2p plus 5 is equal to 12. Now we'll discuss changing the subject of a formula. First let us see what is subject of a formula. A subject of a formula is the variable that is expressed in terms of other variables suppose if we consider the formula P is equal to 4i. P is the subject of the formula. Now suppose we want to find the value of the variable i we can change the subject of the formula p is equal to 4i becomes i is equal to p by 4 by dividing both sides by 4. The subject now changes to i from p. So i is the subject of the formula. Now consider the following examples. F is equal to 9C plus 35 gives F directly. Subject is F. So F minus 35 by 9 is equal to C. This equation solves for C. Now, the subject is C. Now, V is equal to I R. Solves for V directly. I is equal to V by R solves for I. R is equal to V by I solves for R. Now we shall study how to find the value of a variable in a formula. There may be two cases. First, if we want to find the value of a variable that is subject of a formula
the value of the subject of a formula can be found by substituting the given values of other variables and solving for the subject For example, if in the formula f is equal to 9c by 5 plus 32 and c is given as 100, we get f is equal to 9 into 100 by 5 plus 32 that is f is equal to 180 plus 32 that is 212 so f is equal to 212 second case is when we want to find the value of a variable that is not the subject of the formula method one could be that we can substitute the given values in the formula and then solve for the variable For example, find the value of t in the equation v is equal to u plus a t where u is equal to 2, a is equal to 10 and v is equal to 3. Here we get 3 is equal to 2 plus 10 t implies 3 minus 2 is equal to 10 T that is 10 T is equal to 1 which implies T is equal to 1 by 10 method 2 could be transform the formula First to change the subject to the variable we wish to find in the example we have v is equal to u plus a t we get v minus u is equal to a t that is v minus u upon a is equal to t now the subject has changed to t now we substitute the values of v u and a 
that is t is equal to 3 minus 2 upon 10 that is 1 upon 10 so t is equal to 1 upon 10 this completes our session hope you enjoyed this session